guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa and I am so happy that you're here. Today we are doing another Disney look. So I am going to be doing Yzma from Emperor's New Group. It is the villain in the movie. So I'm really, really excited to do that. I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson mini controversy palette to do, palette to do this. Um, I really am loving these three shades right here. One, two, three. So if you're interested to see how this look turns out, definitely keep on watching. All right, so I've done my base, my brows. Everything's pretty much done because the eye look that I have planned for this is going to take a little bit of time to do, and my last video was 30 minutes, and I can't do that again. <laughs> so we're just going to get right into it. I'm taking my JH30 brush, and I'm going to get started with Diet Root Beer, which is right here in the center. I believe this is a shade that is also in the, um, what's the other palette called? Conspiracy palette. I believe this is a shade that is also in that, so. But I thought they were coming out with another shade, another version of the mini controversy palette, which had like a green in the middle. I don't think that ever happened. Who knows? Alrighty, so I'm just putting that very, not very carefully or anything, right in my crease. And I am going to blend this out just a, just a little bit to get this nice and smooth on the edges. I might grab a little cry on my couch, which is a light taupe color to buff out the edges right here. It's very interesting doing a Disney look now that every Disney park in the world is going closed. Very, very interesting. But we press on. Alrighty, so next up I'm going to take a Morphe M433 and I'm going to go in with Controversy, this purple right here. I feel like Emperor's New Groove also does not get the look. I haven't seen it in years, so I probably shouldn't say this, but... I feel like it doesn't get all of the love. Although I, I guess I really can't say that because I haven't seen it in a while. But there are definitely lines from the movie that I do catch myself saying on a regular basis <laughs> to myself because most people that I talk to wouldn't get it. But it is something that I do enjoy doing. So I'm just, again, not very carefully. I don't really care about this just yet. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease in a second. But I'm just throwing this purple right in the crease here, kind of building up that pigment. And then I'm going to go back in with this brush right here and then soften the top just a tad. I'm trying to, like spice it up, not spice it up, but keep it different in terms of which characters I'm doing. I did a princess. Did I do two princes already? Two princesses? I did. Already I did a, this is a villain. Who else have I done? This is my second villain. Who was my first one? I forget. Oh, Fairy Godmother was my first one. So I think I'm due for, I don't know. Oh, I did an animal too. I guess I could do another animal or another like ally, I guess you could say. But I'm trying to make sure I'm not always doing princesses or villains. Although those are the my favorite ones to do. I've done Mal I've done Mal makeup looks for Maleficent pretty frequently. <laughs> the, her and Ursula are two characters that I always find myself doing every year, whether I'm doing a Facebook Live or I'm just playing with makeup for Disney characters. Those are two characters I always, always, always do. All right. So I am going to... So this is like not blending as well as I want it to, which is frustrating and shocking for a Jeffree Star formula. But I also did not get his most recent Bloodlust palette, which would have been good for Yzma because it's purple, but I have these purples and they're so nice. But purple is really difficult to work with. I just, I feel like the color itself is, is difficult to create and it's difficult to blend in and of itself. 
I don't know what it is about purple that's so difficult. Okay. I, again, am not doing anything super clean right now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease in both of my eyes, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I scooched you in a little bit, and I cut my crease with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Ivory... Cool Ivory. <laughs> cool Ivory. Um, I did only a half cut crease. I'm still figuring out the world of a full cut crease. Very challenging, but I've been able to get this one pretty much down. Um, it's kind of like my cheat, especially when I don't have very bright colors on. It's very, it's just simpler to do before you put all of the bright colors on. So, I have my mini controversy palette. I am going to go back into whoop, controversy, and I'm just going to bring this gorgeous purple over this way to soften the edge of that cut crease so that it's not as harsh of a difference between the white and all oh, pretty much white and the purple. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Getting a phone call at 8 o'clock at night. Oh, that purple is so pretty. I've never used this palette. Well, I've used, I've never used a purple in this palette, I should say. I've used, um, I've used the blue. The blue is super pretty. I really think that if you're looking for, you know, a, a palette to do a villain look with, this is actually a really good one because you have the purples for Ursula. You have the purples for Yzma. You have the blues for Hades which I love doing blue eyeshadow especially when I have nowhere to go <laughs> alright so I'm gonna grab not that brush not you we don't want you I need a medium brush not large not smooth okay so I'm gonna go in with exposed which is this gorgeous lavender color in a JH40 and I am just going to bring that right in the center to soften the, oopsies, I dipped it in the wrong purple, to soften the edge, oops, of that dark purple and this light one. I'm going to essentially do like an a purple ombre look. And it is working, kind of. Yes, it's working. All right, so we're just going to bring this back and forth here. The goal is to really not have any concealer. I've seen cut creases where like the concealer is still exposed and it's just there for everybody to see. To me, I'd rather cut my crease, have the, exp have the concealer there, but then cover it. Like I, To me, the point is you have the white base or light base so that a different color or colors would shine. So why you would leave it that way is you do you, but that's not my cup of tea. I feel like this side needs to be a little bit darker. I'm also sitting here wondering if I actually should do lashes or not, and I'm starting to think not. But I also haven't done lashes in a while. But I also don't think that that's a bad thing. <laughs> I'm going to grab this one right here. It's called My Boyfriend's Purse. It's a really nice champagne shimmer shade. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the inner third of the cut crease. Now this eye is a little troublesome to me because it's a little bit more hooded than the other one. I actually don't have the same eye shape for both eyes. It's very weird. Or it's normal. I don't know. Let me know if that is what happens to you. But this, I've never used this shade either, and I don't know why. This is so pretty. This is a gorgeous shimmer shade. But I always use my finger for shimmer shades because I feel like the warmth 
of the skin melts the shadow a little bit and causes the reflective nature of a shimmer or a metallic shadow to really shine through. I'm like shocked that this eye look did not take any time at all. <laughs> really. And it looks really, really pretty. I have to stop futzing with it. Okay, we're going to keep it as it is. Should we, let's do it, let's put a little bit on the bottom. Let's put a little bit on the bottom. So I'm going to take that, I don't want to ruin this. The eye look is so pretty. So I'm just going to take it just to about the middle. And this is, again, this is the shade Controversy. It's that pretty purple. And then I'm going to take the lavender on the inner. I don't generally enjoy putting shadow under my eye. I feel like I always look like I got punched in the face. But I also have pretty deep lines under my eye and it just creases and that's just not a good time for anybody involved. I'm going to go in with the JH40 which is a pretty fluffy brush for this work, detail work and just really fluff that out. Ooh, I like that. I feel like I need something in the water line. I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Gel Cream Liner in the shade Honey, Honey Dude. It's a nice neutral and I'm just going to use the mirror I have on my desk and throw that in my waterline. Ooh, that made a difference. My eyes are watering. My eyes are watering from the waterline. Alrighty, I'm liking it. This is one of those looks for Disney looks for me that is going to be, uh, nobody told me that that was there. Rude. Um, this is going to be one of those Disney looks where I'm going more for color than transforming my face when I do villains like Maleficent or even Ursula to a point. I'm going to be a little bit more true to the character. This is an opportunity for me to just play with purple and I'm okay with it. So I'm going to go ahead and line, figure out what I want to do with my lashes, and I'll be right back. So what I ended up doing was I did end up using lashes because these are too pretty. I couldn't. I, I had to. So I went in and lined with a little mini wing for my NYX Epic Liquid Liner, or Ink Liner, I'm sorry, I love this. This is such a good liner, I, I'm obsessed with it. And it's like $5. I throw on Lily Lashes in the style Orlando. Since we're doing a Disney theme, I'm wearing Epcot ears. It kind of all went together. So, I'm gonna throw a lip liner on. This is, I don't even know. I got this in a box of some sort. Ilamasca Coloring Pencil for your lips in the shade Lust. So it's a nice, well, I don't know why I did that, but it's a nice darker pink. I tried to stay within the parameters of my actual lips. Usually when I line my lips, I overline them to make them look a little bit more plump, but Yizma's lips are very, very, very small. So I wanted to stay within the, I wanted to stay within the lines. To finish our lips off, I'm going to go in with the KKW Beauty lipstick in Pink 4, which is the lipstick that I got when I ordered a nude shade. And then when they replaced it for me, they actually replaced it with this one by accident. It's still in the box for the nude shade, so if you're looking for a nude shade of KKW Beauty, I would just go to the store. I also wanted to really highlight the shape of my upper lip because I do have very sharp, I don't know what that part of your lip is called, but it's not your cupid, maybe it is your cupid's bow. Anyway, I wanted to highlight that because I felt like it was very true to the character that it's something that I actually have and I don't have to draw on or anything like that. But we are complete, we have completed this look. Tried to make this video a little bit shorter for you. I know that my last video was super long because it took me like three hours to edit it, but that is what it is. I wanted to make sure I got all the important stuff in there. So 
This is the look that we have for Yzma from Emperor's New Groove, which is the villain of the movie. Definitely let me know what your favorite Disney character is so I can incorporate them into this series. And if you've made it this far, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, and ring the bell for notifications. If you are interested in my other Disney videos, I have created a playlist which includes The Fairy Godmother, Queen of Hearts, who else have I done? Um, this one. Rapunzel, Mulan, and Kevin, the bird from Up. So if you're interested in seeing them, definitely keep watching, and I will see you on my next one. Bye!